Over voltage and under voltage AC regulator system can be developed using several methods. In this project, we are using discrete electronic components for assembly which are designed to regulate the use of AC voltage with respect to when the output AC voltage is either normal, over or under voltage. In this video, we will explain the building block of our project and show you the physical assembly made to complete the implementation of our design. For this project and our assembly, we made our design using this simple block diagram which constitutes of power supply, voltage preset, voltage comparator, trigger circuit, alarm circuit and finally the switch circuit. Starting off with the first block which is the power supply, the circuitry consists of a voltage step down transformer, the bridge rectifier, the filter and the voltage regulator. This power supply is used specifically to power the electronic circuit, while the second power supply which is built around a 3 resistor voltage divider is used for the preset of various voltage which the system monitors, more about that shortly. This circuit is soldered on the pavement as we move to the next block diagram which is the voltage preset. The circuit consists of a 10k resistor, the two zener diode which is connected in series as we will use the accumulative breakdown voltage relative to ground to preset our voltage point. We did not indicate the voltage value yet as we are using the relative DC voltage to which they represent the preset AC voltage value which is either over voltage or under voltage. More on the voltage preset we will look at as we consider the next block diagram which is the voltage comparator. The voltage comparator which we are using in this project is the common LM358 operational amplifier IC. LM358 op amp comes with a dual inline package which has 8 pins all together. The special thing about this IC is that it has dual comparator which enables the measurement of two different preset points. Lastly, the IC can be powered using 3 volts to 32 volts which is compatible for our design and more features can be seen below. The comparator is connected to the circuit as it is configured specifically to measure the voltage coming from the power supply. Pin 2 which is the inverting input is tied together with pin 5 which is the non-inverting input. Pin 3 the non-inverting input is connected to the maximum zener diode voltage output point and pin 6 is connected to the minimum zener diode voltage output point. The voltage coming from the zener diode maximum voltage point represents the maximum AC voltage range which is called the over voltage. The minimum zener diode voltage point represents the minimum AC voltage which is also called the under voltage. Using comparator for voltage measurement is an approach that requires technical calculations. This enables one to convert AC voltage value to a relative DC voltage value which is gotten through the type of transformer used and the various steps used to translate variable AC voltage to a variable DC voltage. We have earlier explained how to read AC voltage through a DC voltage point using transformers and for the scope of this project we will not elaborate on that as we have done that in the earlier video which we published on a three phase automatic changeover system. Check that out after the video. So for our proposed assembly, 9V DC represents 280V AC while 5.5 DC represents 140V AC. In between voltage from 5.5 DC to 9V DC represents a voltage range of 140V AC to 280V AC. This is the range we call normal voltage which the green LED indicates and over voltage which the red LED indicates while the orange color LED indicates the under voltage. I used a variable boost converter module to simulate both high and low voltage just as shown. The next block diagram is the trigger circuit. This is a transistor based circuit used in a configuration that uses the signal output of the 2 op amp to trigger the switch. 
The transistor type used is a MOSFET, which is highly recommended, unlike using bipolar transistor, which we initially used and had the system not working as per design until MOSFET was used. Pull down resistors were used on the gate of the MOSFET to allow adequate trigger purpose, as specifically 10K ohm resistor. We now have Q1 switching for maximum voltage. Whenever the sense voltage from the output DC voltage is higher than pin 3, we will have the Q1 on switch and once the voltage at pin 3 is higher than the sense voltage at pin 2 and pin 5, Q1 instantly gets switched. The same process is repeated for the second comparator which monitors the minimum AC voltage. The next block diagram is the alarm circuit. Though we already have the buzzer beeping once the voltage goes either over or on the voltage, but as required design specification, the beeping sound required for this project is an unstable tone, and to achieve that, we are using 5 5 timer in a stable mode. From the data sheet, we have the configuration of 5 5 timer in a stable mode. The capacitor, resistor RB and resistor RA are used to determine the frequency of the buzzer tone. From the circuit, we are using 10 UF capacitor, 20K potentiometer and 10K resistor respectively, which we calculate to have a frequency of 3 Hz and a duty cycle of 60%. The 20K potentiometer used is a variable resistor which allows the change of frequency for the buzzer tool. The alarm part of the circuit is connected to the design as we have the resistor value same and the capacitor set to 10 US slash 16 volts. The voltage source of this circuit is connected to the output of the 12 volt regulator and the ground is now connected to the collector of the two MOSFET Q1 and Q2. The alarm will always be set once either Q1 or Q2 is triggered, which relatively is either over voltage or under voltage, respectively. The last block diagram is the switch. For the switch part of the circuit, we are using a relay for that. Depending on the current ratings that you are building for, your configuration can be slightly different as in our case, we are using a 12V relay. From our assembly, we have the relays interconnected so that the input life A is connected to relay 1 and received at the common pin of relay 2. The input neutral remains the same for the output neutral. So, whenever the incoming voltage is either high or low, the system cuts the output connection using the relay configuration. And that is exactly what we have as we test the assembly. The next thing is to package the system, as we have all the required tools lined up. I measured out all the dimensions of all the external components and drew through to suit to the boss. After the whole assembly, I now have the system looking just like this. Powering up the device, I have the system indicate the right voltage and set the output voltage at the right socket which the yellow LED indicates. Whenever the voltage is either over or under voltage, the output flips to the left socket which the red LED indicates. I'm currently running my power on an inverter system and is already cased. So, to test the system, realistically, I brought a generator as it has a point where I can vary the output voltage. Powering up the generator, I tested the system and the result was just as expected. If you want to build upon this circuit, you can get the extracted circuit diagram on the video description. There are some limitations to this design which include hysteresis corrections which I didn't include on the comparator, 
From the comment section, I would like to get your feedback on how you see the design. I will appreciate it if you will drop a like to this video if it was of help to you and consider subscribing to our channel. Click the little bell icon to get personally notified once we drop the next project that has been proposed to us for development. Thank you so much. We will see you in the next project and do have a blissful day.